Hi all, this is Sammy with a quick pro tip video focusing on some ways to work around knots in CNC woodworking. You can also use this to work around cracks, checks, and other flaws in the material. Alright, let's jump into it. On your piece of material, locate the knot you want to work around. There are a few measurements you'll need to recreate in your CAD file to represent the area you want to avoid. You'll need the diameter of the knot, or width and length if it's more oblong, then measure the X offset from the left of the material to the center of the knot. Then measure the Y offset from the bottom edge of the material to the center of the knot. I'll just use my measuring tape to do this. You don't have to be super precise, we just want to know the general area and location of the knot in relation to the corner we're going to zero to. Now in VCarve, I'll create a new file that's the size of my material. I'll draw a circle or oval that's the size of the knot. Then I'll use the coordinate placement to enter in the X and Y offset I measured earlier. Then click OK. Now we have a shape that represents the knot size and location on our material. We can move the geometry of our part onto our workpiece. I'm making this simple geometric cutting board shape. I'll rotate and scale the part until it fits. This is also helpful if you're trying to nest multiple parts onto your material. Also take into consideration the grain direction if that will affect the strength or aesthetic of your part. Another pro tip is to move the knot geometry to another layer, then lock that layer so you don't accidentally select it when making your toolpaths. Once you're happy with the location of your geometry, go ahead and create your toolpaths. Check the 2D path preview. I like to use the solid blue toolpath feature to visualize the curve of the cut. Be mindful of the potential that cutting through knots or checks can cause the material to splinter or break off during the cutting process. Great, once I have my material set up and my machine connected to Mach 4, I'll home my machine and then I can set my zero to my material and load my G-code program. For a last check to ensure that we've programmed our part properly to avoid the knot, let's use the preview window. I'll jog my Z to a safe height and then jog the spindle over to about centered above the knot. In the preview window, the red crosshairs represent the center of the spindle. Jog left and right over the knot to ensure that the toolpaths don't cross over the area you'd like to avoid. This is also a great technique to ensure that you're going to avoid cutting through any metal fasteners that you might have used in your work holding selection. Great, now we're ready to cut our part. That's it for this pro tip video. Thanks y'all for watching and I can't wait to see what you make. See you in the shop.